today, Pam Fenoff from Crafty Ladies is here to show us how to make some earrings. And Pam, it's a great time of year to learn how to craft because they make great gifts. Absolutely. 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 So today yep. we're working on earrings. Yes. Sort of like what you are wearing. I made these a long time ago. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're not as... I think my style's gotten better. Well, you know, they're endless. <laughs> but, endless. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I could actually take them apart and change them. There you go. Well, there you go. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so we've got a lot of options, lots of beads. There's a bunch mm -hmm. of samples here. So there's really no wrong way to do it. Kind of like with most crafts, if you yeah. like the end result, then you, you nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah. You nailed it. Yep. So do, have you found like a, a, like a formula that you like to use to get like the right amount of big beads versus small beads versus anything like that? No. Or is it just kind of trial and error and you see just what you Just kind like? of what I like, yeah. I'll mm -hmm. put some things together and hold it up and maybe go on to something else and go back and go, yeah, I don't like it, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like with most designing, right? With most, mm -hmm. yeah. And this yep. one is not, I mean, it, if you make a mistake here, nobody died, right? You just go on and... Yes. That's right. We're, I always tell my customers, we're not saving babies. <laughs> not that important at all. It's so simply enjoy for it. fun. And if, you know, if you don't like it, take it apart and do something That's else. Fun. Um, I generally tell people, especially with sewing, um, it's your a prototype. It's mm -hmm. your first one. If you've never done it before, have low expectations because you might Absolutely. not like it and maybe don't plan on giving it away as a gift. Well, there you go. There you and go. then you do more and you get better. And mm -hmm. I yeah, like that. It's very sense. fun. It's supposed to be fun and relaxing and easy. Absolutely. Right. So um, we, we've got some options here. You do. Mm -hmm. So there's different options. Um, there's different types of um, hooks that go through your ear, generally. Um, you want to hang something onto that, so we have okay. little posts. Some of the posts have a circle at the bottom, so you could add a bead hanging off. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, like or a Or they have um, a little, like, nail head. And you have, I think yours have, yeah, Monica's have nail oh, heads. Okay. The, the, the catchy thing with this is you want to find a bead to start that's not going to slip off of that, like this. Oh, sure. Okay. So mm -hmm. this bead hole is big enough so that when I put it on that nail head, it just but if you comes have, right off. What if you have something like this, though? Like, say I wanted to do this. Now, you, you would have to have, see, that's going to hang. Oops, see, yeah, that that's work. where you just put it right directly oh, on the stud part. Mm -hmm. OK, so but then you can't do, can you do anything else with that, or is that it? It's up to you. Okay. You can hang other things. There's really, like I said, there's no really wrong way to do it. OK. Um, you just get to a point where you're like, Sometimes, um, like our class, I take painting, they'll tell you, sometimes you just need to stop. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. you're, you're done. Yep. You don't know you're done, mm -hmm. but you need yeah. to stop. <laughs> you need to or, step or away. Or talk to your friend, like, what do you think? You're like, yeah. you need to stop. <laughs> Less is more, right? Less is more. Okay. Tell my kids that growing up. Less is more. So are these bead design boards, are these something that are just handy to have? Or mm -hmm. are they, like, do you need them to do this? or? No, um, they're just handy. Okay. And honestly, these are more for necklaces. Oh, okay. So this would be your center point, mm -hmm. and if you put um, your string or your wire, whatever you're hanging your necklace or your bracelet mm -hmm. on, and you know that your wrist is seven inches, mm -hmm. then you know you want to go from like eight, four to four. That's eight inches. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, and then gotcha. there's little trays to hold your beads. But how do you know, okay, so I, I want a small one, and then a medium one, and then, I mean, you know, is it's there... It's really your call. Yeah, but don't you think there's some, like, design... There probably is with professionals, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm, this I'm is just, just a crafty fun, mom, so... <laughs> it's whatever sure, you like. I'm sure there are people there who would say, yes, you have to do you it this way. Sure. this way. Um, I, went in, I was in a quilting class a few years ago, and she was like, you can't do that on the binding. And I'm like, yeah, I can. I'm 54, <laughs> and it's mine, so I can. So I good? did. You're not maybe going to win the quilting award. That, yes. That's fine, but yes. you're just saying, generally yes, not trying to. <laughs> Win awards. You've got these tools here. Yep, they're pretty small because um, I bought them when my daughter was 12. Okay. But we, they've come in handy because I have a lot of kids that come in. Sure. So I have a course. few bigger ones for normal size humans. Okay. Um, but the small ones, they do come in handy sometimes. Sure. All right. Um, so basically, um, you've got ones that have a circular end. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry too much. Okay, about, about the, the size bead. of the okay. beads. There, there will be some, like this one might slip right off there. Oh, okay. But I put a few options okay. for you to start. Okay. Yours okay. especially have the nail tip. Sure. So you'll want to start. Right. Okay. With All right. Things. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll get back yeah. to crafting us some uh, earrings yes. when we come back after this break. Thanks so much for sticking around. Yes. 